So I guess we're calling to order at 6.05. So I've heard a bunch of different ideas about how we should go forward with this. Um, and I'm open to hearing your guys' ideas because I have my thoughts, which my thoughts are, I guess we can start with that because I'm the one talking, have at least one representative of the department. I think I fill that shoe pretty well as the department head and I know how this job is working right now. Um, I've also been around, not forever, but 10 years. Um, and then a representative from the BOO, and the town of Gearfield, um, town administrator, HR person has expressed their, they feel their involvement should be part of the process. Mm -hmm. um, sure, can, I, can I just say one thing? Yeah. So Tim and I talk on, on, not daily, but once in a while, and one of the things Tim has shared is that he will not be a candidate for the position. Um, I respect that tremendously. Tim has his, has his reasoning, all very actually commendable reasoning. Um, so I just want to put that out there to begin with, um, because I feel Tim is doing a one. If I could use the word on TV, I would, but they won't let me say the word. You're doing one heck of a job. I Tim, appreciate that. Thank you very much. But I just wanted everybody to know I don't, that's, that's been our, Tim and my conversation as we go forward. I'm disappointed. I told that to Tim, but I'm also very respectful, and that's probably why he's been doing such a good job because he knows where he wants to go. So, Tim, thank you for following in the job that you're doing and sharing that with us. I with appreciate your that. As I said, I am happy, whatever my position will be down the road, to continue to help out as much as possible. Absolutely. So, um, okay, I get that out of the way. No, I appreciate that. But yeah, so I think. In my mind, we have myself as the department head, the town administrator from Deerfield, and then somebody from the Board of Oversight who's not from Deerfield, just because I feel like it ends up weighing a little Deerfield. Deerfield centric? Heavy. Yeah. Um, so either somebody from either Waitley or Sunderland, and if nobody's interested, I guess we could go back to Deerfield. Um, but that would be my thoughts, is to have um, one member of the BOO, one member of, from the department, and the human resources person, so we can cross all of our T's and dot all of our I's to make sure that we're not missing anything that Okay. Um, Any uh, comments from the BOO members? I guess I would like to propose an alternate, which yep. would be one member from each town and the HR person. And if Tim, you know, to have five members as opposed to three, this is the initial screening thing. Secondarily, then, after the confidential interviews take place, we would then. Um, have, a, have the BOO interview these folks that are finalists mm -hmm. and they would then be passed along to Deerfield as the hiring agent. So I think... So I Tim, if, if I could Tim, I, I think Tim, Tim is kind of in, in what I'm familiar with that type of a hiring process. So, so the problem with a majority of BOO members being on, and I, I would say a majority is three. Okay, a, a problem with the majority of uh, three BOO members being on the committee, the initial committee, is that it becomes a public committee. This was, this was what Casey expressed her concern, this, is that and, this and is what, we, what we want And what we want to do is a, in the first round, and, and some people get concerned that apply for the job because they may not want their, if they're not going to be a finalist, they may not want that information out there. Sure. So I, sure. I, 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 I'm really, I'm, I'm leaning I would hope that the initial group is more of a qualifications, like you were saying. Exactly. Yeah, and, and um, I just went through this process for Deerfield's town planner. I used to be on hiring committees in my company. Um, I don't necessarily think that there's any issue with what I proposed, but I don't know. I don't know if there's an issue. Casey, when Casey I, always has a lot more concerns about stuff right. than reality dictates. I, that's one thing I will say about her. She can lawyer a thing to death. And <clears throat> it's a question of do you want it subject to the open meetings law or not? Right, exactly. And and I don't think it would be subject to open meeting law. It's a working group. That was what the distinction between committee okay. and it's not a internal working group. Four is quorum. Yeah, so three would be tough though. No, it wouldn't. We, we and, can't and we can't take any official action. And then this is like if you have sixteen resumes and you want to go down to four or five, then these people all look at it. And um, 
I think there's maybe a little more attention to if we have two near field people, this is going to be somehow bad. Well, that, <laughs> wasn't, the me that wasn't the message no, I was I mean, trying that's, to portray. That's really, that's really an issue that I, I, I people bring up all the time. They go, I don't, I don't get that. Because it's going to come back to the boo anyway. Right. I just wanted to paint the option of like just putting out there that I was trying to think equitably. I don't sure. necessarily think that sure. anyone would think that way one way or the other, but that was just the way I was trying to think about it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I just think in the internal, the, the, the initial one, more five people I think is a better way to go than three people. But Oh, I don't, I, I think five is fine. I, I, I agree with you on that. I, I think five is fine. I think three may be too few. Um, and again, you, I, I think nine is we, unwieldy. Oh, yeah, Seven, no. it, but five, five is, a, I like five as a number. Um, Matthew, Crystal, thoughts? I'm, I would lean more toward, you know, given a choice of three versus five, I would prefer to see five. Okay, so I'll make a, I'll, I'll entertain a motion for five, five people being on the committee. Oh. Fred? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor of five members on the committee, say the five by say aye. Aye. Okay, we got, we got a unanimous of those present. Um, makeup, you want us, I, I, I believe Casey, I don't have a problem with Casey. I think Casey should, personally, I think Casey should be on it. Just just because I think you need that, um, what's the right term? Uh, well, it's to the nature type. Uh, well, yeah, I was just gonna say, it's just our, HR person who will make sure that everyone gets the same questions, the same standards, the same whatever. Yep. You know, that everything is being addressed correctly. When we when we did this initially, mm -hmm. we had a group. I was involved. I know John Pachurik was involved. And I have, I'll apologize up front. I forget who else I can't was involved. I can't remember. But um, we went through the initial, everybody who submitted an application got screened to make sure they met qualifications. As long as they met qualifications, we then as a group, privately, interviewed everybody, same questions for every candidate. There was a rating, I don't know if it was one to 10 or one to five, everybody scored it out. At the end of it, it was collected, one person was chosen to tally that, and I think we chose the top three by score. And then those three, we had that public interview mm -hmm. over at the Deerfield Town Hall where we had our questions, the townspeople got to ask questions, yep. and then following that, well, it's an open, yeah. it was an open, right. we yeah. made a decision. And, and, and I, would, I, don't, I think that's fine, a nice process, a good process. I would say, and it's okay that you guys score internally, but, there's, but when you, the, we decided we want three, four, five people forward to the boo, but they're unranked. Yes. Yeah, you don't, yeah, you know. yeah, just the top three candidates. You don't. Three, three candidates, four candidates. You don't, fine, whoever but it's scores it will know the scores, but that doesn't come forward with the three candidates. Here Correct. are the top three it's choices. It's unranked. Right. Yes. And, and, and that's why I think I, that's, that's why. That's where Casey would be involved. Uh, and and would, I, I don't and have she a problem would with that. also make sure that those were ar archived correctly and yeah. in case there's any question. Right. right. Fred, thoughts? No, it sounds like a good process. And I, I don't necessarily feel myself that the other three members have to be boo members. If the town wants to appoint somebody else who they feel mm -hmm. is qualified or may represent the interest of the town on that board, I'm okay with that because we're gonna get our opportunity to interview okay. the so, three finals. So, so it's going to, let's say it's gonna five members on the board, on the thing. Casey's gonna be a, a member, okay? They, how about each town, each town can recommend one person and the boo, do we want to have a boo person represent us on the committee? I was saying each town nominates somebody who's not in this room. I, Timmy, I like that. I like that, Tim. Go ahead. No, I'm just asking. I, I was going to say, it doesn't, doesn't have to be. <laughs> right. No, that, I'm just clarifying what Tom was yeah. No, I, you're right. I, I agree with. I just want to make sure I understand. So either Tim and Matt are like, we don't want to do it. We nominate, I'm going to say John Patrick because somebody said his name. We nominate John to do this in his stead. 
Tom's like, I want to be part of this, so Tom does it, and then Fred is like, I want to be part of it. So that's how that would work, is my understanding. I think or like yeah. Sunderland has a personnel committee, most towns do, mm -hmm. so maybe somebody from our personnel committee would okay. feel very but, strongly that they were interested in doing mm -hmm. this okay. or well, better qualified. What, what, what I would say is that I, I, would, I would defer to the board and allow the board to make that appointment to the, to the and, and have a name for our next meeting, what's the 19th or whatever yes, it is? Yes, the 19th. And, 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 bring, and, and Fred, I would do the same thing, have Whiteley bring forward for the name for the 19th, and Tim and Carolyn bring a name forward. And then, then the only thing we have to decide is that other member, should we have it from um, a, a member of South County, or do we want it from the member of the Boo? Okay. Okay. And I only bring so it up. You're potentially at six people. Yeah. No, no, either a South Can when you said South County, I think it was talking about Tim or some other member of the Right. So you got yeah. Tim, you got Casey, which are your two givens. Well no, Tim was the one you were saying is the South County person, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're saying Casey, three people from one from each town, and then a member of the South County okay. service. Which yeah. probably Tim. Which will find me Tim. Yeah, I would say you're gonna need somebody who's got the knowledge Absolutely. as a paramedic. To I be saw. able to sit with technical questions. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. And I, I recommended, I, I don't want to limit it to just us, and mm -hmm. I'll pick on Waitley. Oh, please do. Just, just because, <laughs> and I, I don't need to pick on you, Fred, but you've got John Hanna, who just yep. retired as chief, who's yep. got years of experience, who you, you and Gary decide whoever it is, yep. but you may want to say, hey, you know what, John's got more experience, let's throw him in. And I don't I, know. I was saying about John, or, or, or Gary. Has years right. of experience, right? I mean, you've you've done this. Your husband's done this. I mean, so I just I didn't want to limit it. No, no, to us because we're going to have our opportunity to meet with right. the right. And, and actually, so. I, actually, it's good that the boo members can can step back so that and allow the process. Right. So. But but then again, I I, I I wouldn't want to tell each board what to do. I mean, right. if, if the board, if, the board. If, if the Deerfield board wants to have someone represent them from the boot, I, I that's their. If you want to do it for Deerfield, I'm fine with that. I just mm -hmm. I, I didn't want to limit it. Oh no, I think it's group. a good no, process. No, you just to pick on the No, which I said it's fine. I should have used better words. And no, I apologize. No, no. But no. I, I think I'm there's good. a wealth of resources in the community that we need. We should tap into, yeah, absolutely. and we shouldn't limit it to absolutely. the yeah. folks around no, the table. Absolutely. Carolyn, thoughts? Okay. I'm I'm supportive of that discussion. Absolutely, that's. So yeah, that's I mean, right. it basically sounds like we have a, a consensus developing around the five members with with the. Uh, no. Yeah, I'm good, and like I said, I we need somebody. I feel strong we need somebody from South County EMS to sit on that committee, so. Mm -hmm. And that, that's, why, that's why I shared Tim and R's conversation. Mm -hmm. As we get, as we get to the three finalists. Or, or four. Or four, or four mm -hmm. I'm sorry, whatever, the, number, whatever the numbers. <laughs> the finalists are. Yep. We're going to meet with those folks. Mm -hmm. I think. I the service that, members should have an opportunity absolutely. to meet with those people, ask whatever questions they may have. I don't know at what point in the process. We would just have to figure out what, I don't know how those yeah. questions, like, do those questions, are they, would they have to be barred the same way as like a hiring, like an interview question is barred where you can't ask certain things? Or? I, I, yeah, well, they so have to be fair. They have to be fair, right. and everyone has to be asked the same questions. Right. Right. So I, I think, I think that if the staff should be thinking of what kind of questions they should be asked, so and we then they, the question. and they, yeah, right. yeah. And then ask um, at the inter, at the final interview. Right, what, but they should be pre-submitted so that you know again. You they and I might scored. think something is right. worded absolutely right. fine and non-discriminatory and non, you know. But someone else really needs to look at those questions and make sure that there's not right. a perceived they, bias or anything else and they, in and that question. And they have question. to be scored. Yes. Uh, I mean, you have to have to score <coughs> each one. So I think they should be pre pre submitted um, to be, make sure that. Well, sure. well, our questions will be pre submitted and screened by the town council before 
before, before we ask them. Oh, absolutely. Right. absolutely. Now we know I'm not going to take a that. chance because... Is, is there a way... How do we pre-submit those without broadcasting them on... I don't you think can. we want to... It, it's just... It just you, you, can, you can send them to Tom, or you okay. can send them to Tim, or you can we, send them to Casey. And I would say we send, we send them to Tim. Okay. And, send, and, and, and again... There, there are certain things that we have to be aware of. There are certain things that we cannot, like, you, you can't, and, and I heard this in one of our interviews one time, they, 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 everybody knew they couldn't ask someone their age, right? But one of, the, one of the committee members said, so how many grandchildren do you have? Now, that, that's... What year did you graduate from high school? There's so, all types of ways and, around and, that. And, and, when, and all of a sudden it's like, Oh my God! I don't. I, I can't believe I just heard that question because it came off the cuff. But there's there's a connotation to if you're having grandchildren. Sure. So so I would and, and 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 we we have to come up with our questions, right? We should and probably be thinking about them now. Um, and so um, yeah, I I I just yeah. went through a process where we had 14 questions. They were all the same questions. Then there were some questions that were more subjective, that were appearance, poise, you know, that kind of stuff, which um, gives you... Right, things you rate on, but they're not yeah. necessarily yeah. a it's question. Not like, uh, yes. and, and I also think that input from the boot, from the, uh, the, the members of the, the ENS service are great, but they need to be given into and asked by somebody else. The BOO and the select board are the ones that are going to be voting yes, and they're going to be the ones that are counted. So we want their their questions represented in this, but it, it it seems to me that they should be asked by the people who are interviewing the person. Okay. So so Jeffrey, mm -hmm. I have a question. So with with South County Senior Center, mm -hmm. we have prospective um, directors meet with seniors before their interview, right? Did that? Yeah, we've done that in the past. Okay. You and usually usually do before the interview. Before. Is that something that we'd want to entertain? Where, per, if you're if you're one of the finalists, that you would meet, have have an open house where they, and and you could schedule schedule an hour and a half, and, and eat, they could come in for for a half an hour, and they could ask you know members of the department could ask questions. Would that be something that that we'd want to consider? And, and again, let, let, let's not decide that tonight. But let's just think. I know that's what we did with the seniors, with the seniors. And I thought it was, it, and, and we've done in the past. Uh, is that is that allowed? Yeah. yeah it, because that's I, not a committee. It's not a committee. The thing that the board of oversight might want to consider is how to take that input. Yep. Right. Because they could answer something that they would. For the sake of argument, Lori could ask a question that we can't ask, and then that information gets relayed to me, and now I have tainted information. Hmm. Yeah, you know, and I, I'm going to just... Go ahead. I don't know that this is going to be a popular opinion, but um, I'm not... I've never been in a process where the people who are going to be working for someone are part of the process of finding out whether the person is going to be the person that's get hired. That's why I'm saying I have no problem with people writing questions because they have technical knowledge that I don't have. Mm -hmm. But it seems odd to me to be, like, I, I never interviewed anybody who was going to be my boss. Oh, I have. <laughs> well, maybe. And if you're, if you're, in, the, if you're in academia or academia a, a, lot, a lot of things, I mean, at the university, you, you I don't think it's a standard thing, but maybe it's, it's, it's very common in public safety. Usually public, it? Yeah, hiring groups are often made up of senior members. Of defer to other people's um, better knowledge. <laughs> but I, I agree. I have, like, again, I have some concerns with that aspect of it, and then I think it's something just to think about and we'll readdress down the road. Well, don't, don't forget, they're not the hiring committee. No, I know. Right? And, and I've seen... And again, I just think it, it's Tim. I don't think we have to make that decision no. tonight. But let, let's just let's put it for something for us to think about, so sure. we can talk about on the nineteenth. Right? I just wanted to state that I hadn't or hadn't really had that much experience with with um, future employees interviewing their future boss. But I can see where it, it could happen in many different settings. So, and particularly yeah. in public safety, which I have no real experience with beyond the booth. So, 
we, we can talk to them. Tim, could you ask members of the department if they've been through a process like that before and how it worked? Yeah. Uh, okay. So, so Tim, I think, so what we're looking for is for the 19th, we're looking for um, recommendations for the appointment on the screening committee um, from each of the three boards, <coughs> the select boards. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so going back to that meet and greet thing, or, you know, getting a chance to, I think we're looking at a very different situation than South County EMS, because South, or, um, South County Senior, Senior Center, Center. Yep. because when they did it, they weren't, they were meeting with the seniors. They mm -hmm. weren't meeting with employees. their potential employees. Although the, they were invited, right? Mm -hmm. The boys, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll just say when Amherst hired their current town manager, I took him for a tour as the economic development director of the town. The planning department met with him. I mean, we had a whole staff meeting in the main room where he talked to us. We weren't part of the committee. Um, Was this the finalist? The, the three before, finalists. Oh, three finalists. Yeah. Okay. So before a job offer was made. And so how, how did you shift? Did you shift? Did you share your? Nobody asked. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, nobody that, asked that's, me. That's interesting. And you did that, and uh, what was your role in Amherst? Economic <laughs> development director. Because that we were just interviewing one economic development for here, so <laughs> that would. Make sense. Uh, what do you uh, think? Uh, yeah, our we have the select board meeting next Tuesday. Brian, town administrator, has had some personal issues. I hope that we're able to get this on the agenda and do it for next Tuesday if he's got a sick family member that he's Fred made it happen well you, so you, know, you, you know, know I will Fred you, Fred you know what you say I'm the new member and I told him that we we're going to do it so I think we've got to do it you know <laughs> play, play dumb and ask for forgiveness That's a lot what are they going to do but okay <laughs> good for you Fred so then I could say it and they would believe me when I said play dumb but Okay. All right. So, so Tim, I, yeah, we, I, I'd, I'd be interested. We let's let's continue that conversation. I mean, but, I, I, I'm you know one of several members here, so you know if everyone else feels differently, that's fine. But I, I sort of agree that yeah. uh, you know I would sort of think thinking the same way as, as Crystal was that these are seniors. It's not the same thing. But then we heard here the Amherst situation. So I would be more inclined to do it. Before once we winnowed the winnowed the, the group and decided that we have finalists, yeah. then it, we, you know, so I'm, 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 I've got one question about the, the pre-screening. I'm perfectly on board with the three questions, except for one element. What happens if there are questions about a person's specific resume? Let's say there's an employment gap on someone's resume who's otherwise one yeah, of that's, the that, that's, that's a That's a positive of having Casey on the committee. And 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 then when they recommend the finalists, yeah. um, one of the things that that always goes into it before we ever offer a job is that yeah. that we we research. You have to research that resume. Um, right. But the, the question is getting this person past the screening yeah. process. Yeah. You know who who might be qualified, but there's some cloud or question yeah. to to the individual. I think. If it's going to make or break them getting through the screening process, yeah. perhaps it's a phone call from Casey to the candidate to understand. Okay. Otherwise, if they, they're in the screening process and there's a gap in the resume and you want to ask it, I think it's something that you can ask. You just don't score upon it because... It's a follow-up question. It, yeah, it's a follow-up question. Oh, okay, fine. Place. I just want to make sure that, you, you, yeah, that so, there is so some degree you of score, flexibility. You score that the is, standard question. Matt's, Everybody has the same yeah. thing, but then you can, on Matt, the end, Matt's, you have a plus or minus yeah. where you Matt, do follow. Matt's on, 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 on the right track yeah. when he said what he does, be, because when, when at the, and again, with my experiences in the town and at the university, when, when we look at a person's resume and there's certain qualifications, if there's a question about qualifications, our, the committee's clerk will call that in, in clerk could be an admin could be one of our, you know I've made these calls is a, is a call is made and say oh by the way do you have a welding certification 
It says you weld, but right. do you have a? Do, are you certified? Okay. So I, didn't, it just, I, I was hearing this, you know, very and, regimented process, and you know, is is there flexibility in it yeah, to account for individual? Yeah. yeah. They're theories. just basically those questions. Yeah. Don't yeah. really get scored. Okay. Yeah. Fine. You have your, you know, whatever it is, your ten questions that you're going to score, okay. and then. The follow-ups to those always are going to be different, right? Because right. some people are going to give you such a thorough, complete answer, yeah. you're going to go, okay, that was too much info, yeah. dude. And then other people, you feel like you have to, you're pulling teeth, you know, like, okay, did yeah. you, did you? Yeah, yeah. Got it. Think, we had done some scenario-based questions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You come upon a scene, you see this, this, and this, walk us through mm -hmm. how you handle this, and then you pick five, ten key elements at the end. As soon as they answer that, mm -hmm. then the, that's how you score it, the points. Mm -hmm. That piece of it kind of is black and white. Mm -hmm. So there's some standard scoring, there's some subjective scoring. Yeah, so I, I was just looking for how to handle the gray. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Carolyn, Tim, one member from each town recommended yeah. by the the, the, the yeah, we have a meeting next Wednesday. We'll get it on. Okay. okay. You got a problem with that? I don't have a problem with it, Jeff. We can put it even. I don't think we can get it on the agenda, but we'll do it Monday. Yeah. Yeah. We have. I'll send an email so everybody can prepare. Okay. Yeah. We have that unanticipated business. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, there was a couple unanticipated items I wanted to bring up because I won't be here on the nineteenth. I um, have a conference that I have to go to because I represent Massachusetts so um, I will uh, just wanted to bring up that you know Tim has been doing an outstanding job and I and he has been putting more hours in so I was thinking that we need to um, uh, recognize that and I would like us to vote for a stipend to go up to fifteen hundred dollars from the motion I'll make a motion second we have a motion made second any discussions my only discussion would be Tim. Thank you. And I, I, I thought have it was to say four, it's a really good. Um, I, I, and again, I, I think short notice, taking over, doing a great job. Um, Every everything is being done. Yeah. Really well. Uh, I'll, I'll second what Tom's saying, and also thank you for recognizing the additional work and rewarding. Tim appropriately for what's being Yeah, and I my my thing was I thought the stipend was low to begin with, but I <laughs> and again I, I know I know how that it sometimes there's things that happen behind it. And I look at our chief our, our chief of police, the fire chiefs, the there's a lot of stuff that goes on. And most of them have have admin assistance and we don't. So um, and speaking of which, well, uh, finish voting on it, then I have one more thing. All right, so we have a motion made and seconded. Are there, is there any further discussion? So on the table is a motion to increase the stipend to 1500 Per month, yeah. Okay, we had the motion made and seconded. Any other discussion? Here, no discussion. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Carolyn, so um, that's then clear the, you mean it unanimous. Okay, and then the other one is, um, uh, we don't have an assistant and we you know of course we have an interim director and work is getting done and Tim had had a proposal for um, you know the some of the staff that's doing some of the extra work and um, it, you know from a money point of view it's more than budgeted and um, so I think we should put that on the agenda for the 19th for sure. you all to discuss Tim you got that on the agenda uh, it's it, yeah, it's will be clad, I'll, It's in the director's report part. I'll put it specifically in the agenda, um, and I'll up, when I update the agenda for yeah. next meeting. Yeah, and, that, and yeah, so that. I want to say that you know I am in support of it, and uh, you know, and I think the you know everyone has stepped up to make sure things happen. And I was just going to suggest that to, you know consider that to be a retroactive thing, to yeah, that's my proposal as yeah. well, because the work's been happening from the past right. anyway. Um, and, and it's not, you know, issue from our budget point of view. Because we, we do not have an assistant and we are paying, yeah. um, you know, just flat stipends for the director. Okay. Um, and the other thing is, um, it's an apology on my end. 
Uh, we are supposed to give 60 day notice for the lease renewal. And believe it or not, five years is up, was up June 30th. And it just, I, I really thought we had another year. I, I just couldn't believe that it was five years. Fred so, just made, um, Fred made a motion that you give us a six month uh, uh, <laughs> grace period. So, um, right, Fred? Casey didn't, I don't remember Casey uh, brought it up. <laughs> she she months sent months? it out to the other two, you know, to Jeff and, and Brian. And um, so it's on our agenda to just, it, we have the option of renewing it for five years. And so the select board, our next select board meeting, I mean, we didn't find out about it until Yes. You want to do five uh, years? Till, Is that the maximum yeah, you can do? Yeah, it's just renewal so. up to five yeah. years. So we're just going to do another renewal, same thing, same conditions, same, um, you know, amount of rent, everything. It's just, you know, I'm, we were supposed to give 60-day notice okay. in, in back in April. Yeah, good. Uh, Karen, I, s I saw the original that Brian sent it over to me late this afternoon. I had one question about it, and that sure. is, it was signed by the select boards as on behalf of skims as the lessees and it was signed by the select board of deerfield as the lessor so you've got the select board of deerfield leasing and well because we pay rent too well i know i'm just so th th thinking in terms of contracts to have the same parties signing on both sides of it it's just something to check with your town attorney well as to what as to whether whether the select boards are the appropriate bodies to be signing off on it I, I yeah. think it is uh, because it was legally drawn up by our lawyer um, and it's the reason why you don't have anything tonight or That's you know okay. we are maybe not even by the 19th mm -hmm. it's just can, our lawyers has to do the least extension yeah. and we can, and we can also can suggest it, 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 if you right. can double take it's just yeah I can double check, but it's I, been I, a long time since I took contracts. But it's odd to have the same party signing on both sides. Yeah, it's okay. kind of like in real estate. You know, if you have a if a sales agent works with a seller and the buyer, they have to sign a declaration that both people. Yeah, but, are aware. but they're not. They're still not right. the buyer and the seller at the same <laughs> time. So, 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 Fred, could you ask Brian to talk to Casey about that? I already have. Perfect. And would you have an alternative suggestion, like the town would administrator the, sign it, or or my, my thought would be that this board sign on behalf of SCEMS mm -hmm. with the Deerfield people recusing. I don't know if we have the authority as BOO members to, to enter into fiduciary uh, uh, contracts. I I mean, or to have the, the chief sign on, with the chief does financial transaction it, it's a question for the lawyers yeah. it's not yeah. something that I'm, I'm sure of I'm it's just it struck me as very odd when can, i can saw talk, the same names can you talk to brian and casey and work that out it, it just right. struck me as very odd to they'll, see the same names on both sides of the agreement yeah they'll work it out okay i, I don't think it's that i don't think it's a big deal for, i just for us, i just thought us. it was yeah. odd no, that's a good question well it's the town of deerfield building yeah I, I, understood. I, I, I completely understand it. It's just yeah. having the same people signing but on both sides of an agreement. And then we vote as the boom members. I mean, as, yeah. you know, co constituting. But, the but Je Jeff and Jeff, Brian and Casey will right. have to figure it out. No That's time. fine. Do we need, to, and this is going to be another unpopular opinion. Again. Do we need to, I'm okay. Okay. Do we need to adjust the rent to account for inflation? And That's up to sound your feeling. I don't forward. I don't think so because at this point because it's a yeah, large amount going in yeah the mm -hmm. money's sitting there for like a roof replacement or you know like the door getting fixed actually know, that's not our problem apparently oh good <laughs> it's Scarborough's <laughs> but you know the idea is the physical and none of us have money you know I mean it's capital projects are always t tough to finance mm -hmm. so the idea is that we have money sitting there for any capital um, it's not like we're actually paying rent. We're just depositing yeah. money into a safety. We're putting right, well, we're, we're planning for future to maintenance Matt, enhancements yeah. to the building right. and to Matt's point though, it's there is inflation and the door costs more today than it costs five and years. It's gonna cost there. more in five years than it does today. So it's just, and the roof and everything yeah. else. The roofs are ridiculous. I know, but we weren't gonna 
do okay. anything right away because all of us are really pinched and it wasn't like we were trying to shortchange it. I'm not saying that. I'm just, just that. But you, can, yeah, but you guys will have that discussion. We'll come back yeah. to the boards and. Well, we, uh, Tim, last night we we agreed that we were just going to. We didn't discuss this particular topic last night. We, we talked about renewing the lease, yes. which is different it's, than well, should the lease payment be higher because of inflation, which is a new question. Yeah, right. Oh, and I, really I'm not saying that I have a big, you know. No, and I, I, I know the situation we're in. I know there have been some events that have occurred this year that are going to challenge the budget, but it seems like every year there's a budget challenge, and I just don't want to get to a point where we need a roof, we've only got X number of dollars, we're short money, and then, I know. you know. Where are we going to grab from instead of having saved it appropriately through the years? So. Okay. okay. Um, I just wanted to circle back just real quick to the hiring thing for just so we can have this conversation before next week. For the scoring of the applicants, I don't know if there's a standard sheet that you guys use. I have what we used last time when I, we hired just a paramedic, not a manager. Um, that I amended slightly, but I don't know if there's a standard um, way that you guys normally do it. Uh, Casey has it. Okay. We'll, I think you can we'll, work with Casey. Yeah. On, yeah, okay. yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll bring that forward. Okay. Lots of different ways. But we, whatever we agree to is how we'll yeah. score it. Whoever okay. is on the committee will score it. Yeah, typically those questions will be fleshed out. You'll decide in the group who asks what questions. No, I'm, I'm, yeah, I meant more like when you're reviewing someone's, like, for example, reviewing someone's application, like, oh, they have a master's degree that counts for three points. Like, like to get those candidates out of the application pool into the you've got to go through the and Casey should guide you through this you go okay. through the list of requirements okay and then you're looking through their resume you know are they are they a paramedic yes or no mm -hmm. if they're not a paramedic and we requested a paramedic then it can't go forward it's kind of like a flow chart then you go down if it's no then stop then yes yeah. Keep going. yeah and that's where the gray comes in that Fred spoke about right. because it, it may say that I've got ACLS, but there's no expiration on the car, or no copy of the card, no expiration date. So you may have to call and say, is your ACLS current? And mm -hmm. if so, could you submit a copy of the card so we've got proof? Mm -hmm. okay. but, but you can also check that online. Yeah. All, all licenses in the state of Massachusetts, you can check real easy. Okay. Well, yeah. well we just so, the kind of yeah. verify the qualifications. Yep. Don't want a situation where I yep. graduated from Harvard, summa cum laude, and find out he never got out of GED, you know, so. Um, oh, I went to Harvard Elementary School. <laughs> right. Central Mass. <laughs> yeah. And I also had a request from the Greenfield SRT to add them, to have a conversation about them, the SRT and how that's going to play out going forward, but he's been reaching out to me quite a few times over the last couple months, and I said I would add it to the agenda for the 19th. I don't know if we're going to have time to do it because we have a lot of stuff to cover, but I'm going to add it to the agenda and if we get to it. In the yeah, we'll talk, we'll pop if we can put that on the I agenda. was just going to say um, I would like to be part of that conversation because it's insurance we related. Can, we, we can uh, maybe we'll look at October meeting. Then. All right, I'll reach right. back out to him and let him know. Uh, tell, him, yeah, tell him, Proctor, that would give us time to prepare what we want to ask also. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess they're just working on restructuring, which is why he was asking me. So I'll send him a okay. later. Anything else? I'll entertain a motion. A motion we adjourn. Second. You're very good at that. <laughs> we all have our strong points. <laughs> we have a motion made and seconded to adjourn. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Declare it unanimous. And we're out at 645. <coughs> that was pretty well good. done, Jedi. <laughs> Where have you been lately? I haven't seen you. I've been out. Where were you? I've been out. <laughs>